Hi everybody, I'm glad that you're here today. Today we're going to be um, painting His Eye is on the Sparrow. And um, in verse Matthew 20, 6, 26, it says, look at the birds of the air, you know, and it talks about how they don't, they don't sow, uh, or worry. And, and so just knowing that God is in complete control, that he has us even with the uncertain future. And actually Sunday, it was so beautiful. Um, some of my, actually my dream team, my favorite singers all got together and sang his eyes on the sparrow. And I put it on our Facebook page if you want to listen to it, cause it is amazing. And it, it will make you fall over. But so this is Hope's. I went ahead. Hopey, can you say hi? Hi. Hopi is having some a little ice cream treat because it's her special day today. And she's having some tea and she's all wrapped up in a blanket. And this is what we're going to do. So a little sparrow. I went ahead and did hers. But I'm going to start with my paper uh, vertically. And um, I'm going to do essentially, I'm going to start with like an oval but that's not gonna quite be perfect, okay? So if you'll see, let's see if I can get that in view. It's not gonna be perfect um, at all, and it's a very, very light oval. Are you gonna do a bluebird? And actually where I got the idea for this, so here I'm doing a little branch in the middle of my oval, and right here I'm going to do a little sparrow. So I'm gonna start with a sideways triangle, I'm going to go up a little bit and then back down, little a little C, backwards C right here. I'm going to bring down the chin and then another backwards C right here for the belly. And then a little, we're going to bring a, a backwards C over here for the back. Ooh, that's a fat, that's a fat guy. We don't want him to be too fat, do we? Me. <laughs> This this one, he hasn't been eating all the worms, has he? Do you think he's been eating all the worms? Mine is. And then here is the little tail coming out. And then in a, in a sparrow, the wing comes out just a little bit. So I'm going to erase right here because that's where my wing is going to come down. Okay? Then the feet are going to go forward, forward, and then little the little feet hang on to the branch. Okay, so I'm going to draw almost a parallel line to this branch to make it a little thicker. Okay, and then on his eye, I'm going to do, you could just do a little oval if you want, or you could kind of bring kind of a line down just a little bit to make that um, stick out just a little bit more. Okay, so I saw this beautiful picture. I don't know if you know Ruth Chow, if you've heard of her but she's an amazing artist. And so I'm gonna start with big kind of um, peach colored flowers. Mine will sort of resemble sort of magnolias, but essentially I'm just doing these big peach blobs. It's a very technical term, blob. And we're gonna come back in here and do a little bit more color in just a little bit. So I got my blobs. You might touch them with just a little bit of pink. Not a whole lot, but just, just a little. Oh, that's too much. That's yeah. <laughs> that's too yeah, much. Jill. What did Jill say? She is like watching PJ Masks. Oh, yeah. Jill's watching PJ Masks because she wasn't she feeling great today. So we're going to let her watch PJ Masks because it's making her happy. Yep. 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 <laughs> Okay, so I'm sorry. The idea for this idea, this um, painting came from Grace Laced. So Ruth Chow, who is an author and a speaker and a writer. And um, I have just really enjoyed. She just recently came out. She and her husband with a family devotional. It's amazing. It's really, really something. And so you are. So I'm going to put just a little bit of brown in this. Um, oh, you just threw water on me, Missy. <laughs> Actually, it was pink, pink paint. So right now, I'm gonna come back and do some um, some detail work in a little bit. But essentially, I'm just kind of doing a little bit of brown in my sparrow. Okay. I'm again waiting on these <coughs> flowers to dry. Mommy, okay. I am. I had like a hairball in my. What are we gonna do, sis? Okay. So now I'm going to take. 
Yes, baby, you can. So I'm gonna take about a fourth inch brush and you could also use, I have these watercolor markers. You could use those. You could use a watercolor pencil. You could use an actual marker. Those would work just fine. So I'm gonna do this in green because we're gonna be adding a lot of green around our oval. So we have our oval. I'm gonna start here with his and I'm gonna do it in the cursive. <laughs> his. I wish I could have heard, and maybe you have heard, um, some of our worship team sing his eyes on the sparrow. It is phenomenal. Brandon Chatswell, amazing. Tracy Robbins, amazing. <laughs> Heather Hoyt, they're just incredible. So his, and then we're going, I'm going to switch to, baby girl, can I use this one and you use a different one? Thank you. You can use that one. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush and I'm going to come in here. His eye, his eye, is he watching us always? Yes. He always knows, doesn't he? So now I'm doing... <clears throat> Just regular block lettering. I and but then on my block lettering, I'm making my little crossbars a little lower than normal. It his eye, and then I'm going to bring <clears throat> is up just a little bit because I'm following. I have a little bit more room to work with right here, so I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit. Oh, that is so. I'll show everybody in just a second what you're doing. His eye is on, and again, it's getting a little bit bigger. <clears throat> and right here I'm on my on, I'm gonna do one little curly Q letter just because, just for fun. There we go. <laughs> What are you thinking? I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Can you tell everybody what you've been doing lately? I've been doing my homework. Doing your homework. Have you been playing Barbies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? We're going to family camp. <gasps> we get to go to family camp. We're super excited. Yeah. We were kind of thinking we weren't going to get to go, and they're going to let us yeah. come, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Mom wants one of these. Mom was, mom was super pumped, wasn't she? So right here, I'm going to write the word the in my cursive with my small brush. And I'm going to bring it all the way out on my E and then come over here and bring it all the way out on the T. Okay, just to, it's going to kind of act as like a page break right there in between. Or just a little d dividing line. On my down strokes, on the cursive, I'm going to come and thicken that down line. Thicken those lines. So the, and then we're going to write sparrow. And I'm going to go back to my big brush. I still have that, that green going. And I'm just going to fill in this space right here. You do not have to do this type of lettering if you want. This is more of a, I'm kind of, I'm kind of using a mixture of print and I'm gonna come in with a little bit of cursive. Oh, Mama, that looks so pretty. Thank you. I did the blue board and his eyes would be black and big. <laughs> That's okay. We'll come back and we'll do a little shading on it in a little bit, okay? His eye is on the sparrow. And then what we'll do is we're going to come back and we'll do a little bit of shading on these words. I think I'm going to, I hear I hear somebody opera singing. Who do you think that is? I think, I think it's Judah. It's... Judah loves to opera sing and we don't really know. It's... <laughs> what do you think? You think it's J.O.? Yeah, it is. I just found out that J.O. had not done a bunch of his work <laughs> for, for school. So that's what we were just doing. Okay, so now essentially what I'm doing is I'm going to make my little oval 
kind of look like twigs, like that this is part of a tree, okay? So I'm gonna try to make it look as organic as possible without making it... Um, oh, that is so pretty, Hopi. So as you can see, it's just gonna be a bunch of little branches coming out. It's not going to be perfect. I'm gonna try to follow the little oval line I made, but... Oh yeah, that's Hey, would you go tell him to be a little bit more quiet? He's, he's going a little wild, as the boys always do. <laughs> if you have any funny boy tips, please let me know. They're giving me a run for my money. There we go. So I have all my little um, lines kind of coming out. Essentially, it's like a wreath made out of twigs, almost. Okay? It was it J.O.? Was it J.O.? A little stinker. Okay. He was just going crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to come back in here. Thank you. Oh, it's not better than yours. So now I'm coming in here with a lighter yellow or lighter green. And we're going to do some darker green here in a second. But the lighter green, I'm going to try not, I don't want my, I don't want it to bleed. So I'm not going to really try to touch it to the flowers that I've made. But I'm going to try to fill in this area as much as possible with little leaves. Jacob? Are you okay? Go, go check on him. Jacob? Who knows all the things that happen at our house. J.O. Okay, so I'm filling this spot in with leaves. We want it to kind of look like springtime, and I'm going to put probably a few little buds on these, too. Again, kind of like right here I'll do a few leaves, little pops of color. That was probably too many. <laughs> Is he okay? Oh, did he get his feelings hurt? Yeah, Coco was like, oh, they, they, okay. Well, I'll, we'll have to discuss that in a little bit. Mine is a little drawing. Yours is a little drawing? Thanks for helping me today, Hopi girl. Can I show everybody all the good things you've yeah. done? <gasps> I like your flowers. Yeah. So here's Hopi Sparrow and all of her beautiful flowers. Love I'm that, Hope. You're going to do the sun and the moon? Okay. Okay, so here we go. I'm almost done with all my little flowers. Or sorry, leaves. Leaves, what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Now I'm going to come back in and do a little bit of... I'm just going to kind of fill in with a little bit of darker leaves. Kind of adding um, almost a wash in here. But it's sort of just going to fill in with a little bit of color. And I'm even going to come... So when I frame it, I'm going to make sure the the color goes all the way through where I'm going to cut it out of. And I'm sorry, my green is a little bit dingy. But so, little purple right there. Did you put a little purple in there? That's going to look pretty. Okay. Now... We're gonna come in here with our little white brush and do a little bit of detail work and then we're almost done. And okay. Then we're gonna talk. Oh, then we're gonna talk. Okay. I see ya. Okay, so with our little sparrow, I'm going to come in with my black. You could do this with a Sharpie if you wanted. But um, the main thing is, you know, a bird's gonna be very organic so it's not gonna it won't be perfect and so if you're a perfectionist just take a deep breath it's gonna be okay and if you wanted to even google you know a sparrow to help you do a little you know a little better lines you could mine is very primitive and yours is very 
Oh, well, thank you. You're so lovely. And everybody's so pretty. Everyone is so pretty. <laughs> Hope is a pretty good encourager, I will say. Thank you. So essentially, right now, I'm providing a shadow on his. And the way I'm doing that is just picturing where would the light be hitting? Where would the light be hitting? And I'm putting the shadow on the other side. And you could do this to all your letters if you wanted to. I'm just going to do it to yeah. his and on Sparrow. Black and um, dark um, green is very good together. Yeah? Uh -huh. That looks really pretty. It's like dark green with like black. That sounds awesome. Oh, I got a little green on me. <laughs> The shading is also good if you maybe mess up on a letter that it helps you just kind of correct it a little bit or it maybe distract people's eye from the mistake. So I'm going to do a little bit on the, on the branch. My sparrow could probably use a little bit extra, like different shading. You could put offer different, uh, more on the belly to provide like a shadow. And then on my little flowers, my big flowers actually, I'm going to put like a little bit of yellow in the middle to just kind of define that this is the middle of the flower. You could even go around it with a black or a gray just to kind of show that this is where the flower ends. And then make sure and sign your name at the bottom. I'm going to do in pencil. But definitely listen to this song because it will encourage you today. Because for someone who worries like me, I need to be reminded that he is in complete control. And today I was so excited because I got this card in the mail for Mother's Day. I thought it was so pretty. In fact, it gave me an idea um, for future uh, cards that we may, may make before Mother's Day. But isn't that pretty? It's just these simple watercolor flowers. And then this is essentially a... Um, a fine tip Sharpie. And this is from my friend Rachel Monday. Mundy and her niece made this card, Emily Joy. So it made my day. So ho whose day can you make today? If you want to share this with somebody, paint it, leave it on a neighbor's doorstep or send it to your mom. Um, it's a great reminder for all of us. I hope you have a great day.